Hello, fellow pet lovers. How in the world are you? Today, we're going to talk about raising puppies. Hello, folks. It's me, Dr. B, with an update on Mesmerize and her four puppies. I want to thank all of you for your notes and letters and phone calls and kind words of support this last week with the um, trials we've had with Mesmerize and her four puppies with this litter. You may recall from my first report that Mesmerize, our four-year-old Bernie's Mountain Dog, uh, had the litter of four puppies uh, through a series of uh, very significant complications. Um, she'd stopped eating a week before she was due and things weren't just right. All the tests that I could run were okay, but um, she wasn't. And the bottom line is we elected to do a preemptive cesarean section about two days before the puppy's specific due date. Technically that would be very safe for them. And the surgical procedure revealed a twisted, torsed uterus that had completely compromised the circulation in one of her uterine horns. That horn essentially was dead, gangrenous, releasing toxins, and obviously the source of all the problems I'd had the previous week with her going downhill. She went into toxic shock during surgery, and by God's mercy, she responded to our resuscitative efforts and made a slow, progressive, but not uneventful recovery. The first episode this week was that she developed a hemolytic anemia. A hemolytic anemia is a condition where uh, her system is making antibodies and the antibodies are clobbering her own red blood cells and, and basically killing them, destroying them. Um, this was triggered by the toxins uh, and many medications are possible. We started on what was necessary and a very shaky three or four or seven days she started um, getting stronger and making red blood cells. Um, even though she was very weak, she wanted the liquor puppies, she wanted the nurser puppies. Uh, between the shock and the surgery and everything else, she never developed any milk, which was not a surprise at all. And so bottle feeding the puppies became um, 100% um, uh, essential as part of our plan of, of getting things back on the road to recovery. So at this point, her appetite was still terrible. She hadn't eaten for the week before the cesarean section, and now she wasn't eating uh, at all during this period of time. We started giving her everything from the refrigerator and then some. We found that she liked string cheese and brie. I can't tell you how many wedges of brie that we went through for the first four or five days, but that got her eating and trying to make a few red blood cells. The most amazing thing is that her maternal instincts were so strong. She wanted to lick her puppies and um, take care of her puppies almost from the instant that uh, we showed them to her uh, uh, after the surgery and she had recovered from the anesthesia. Um, and I think that was kind of a, a synergistic situation. The puppies uh, needed mother and mother needed the puppies and I think uh, they continued to um, develop emotionally because of mother's strong mothering um, instincts. Well things are going along pretty well. Mother's eating cheese, the puppies are being bottle fed, they're gaining slowly but gaining not as much as I'd like, they're not taking as much formula as I'd like. They developed a significant diarrhea that um, was pretty much unexplained and not really well controlled. They required subcutaneous supplemental fluids to keep them from getting dehydrated and in general um, we're causing a lot of sleepless nights. You can imagine this is a both emotional and physical strain. Well the biggest curve comes next when they all develop colic one afternoon. Um, colic is a kind of a general term for 
um, the intestinal tract kind of bloating, kind of getting distended, kind of getting gassy. The fancy medical term is ileus. Ileus means that the normal peristaltic contractions of moving uh, food and liquid material from the stomach to the colon in a rhythmic muscular contraction is paralyzed or stops. Um, the process um, took several hours to really get them under control. They were fussy, crampy, unhappy, crying little guys that um, were really pretty sad. Trace the problem, really, the underlying problem to not digesting the formula that they were on. I'd been using a com commercial formula that I used on just scores and scores of litters in the past with a excellent results. Well, these kids we just didn't want to digest it, I guess. Um, so giving them drugs to relieve the gas and the colic and get their intestinal tract going and supportive uh, injectable fluids um, seemed to straighten them out pretty well, all but the one little yellow girl. She, uh, in this process, apparently um, aspirated some fluid, probably milk, into her lungs and developed an ammonia. First recognized this with abnormal breathing patterns and labored breathing. Fortunately I have oxygen in the house and started her on that right away and antibiotics and whatever resuscitative efforts that we could do. But uh, aspiration ammonia is a very very serious thing in any dog and in young puppies it's invariably has a relatively poor outcome and little yellow girl was no exception. About 40 hours into my efforts of trying to support her and restore uh, breathing patterns uh, for her lungs and her circulation, she jumped up with a temperature of 109 and a half. In decades of clinical practice, I can't remember a patient with 109 and a half, let alone a seven day old puppy. And um, she passed um, peacefully with oxygen in my arms away. Our only consolation is knowing that we did everything that we could and then some and that um, she no longer is suffering and is at peace right now. So we're continuing to um, fight the war with the other three little boys. They're having mild fevers related to their, um, I think, poor immune status. Um, they never received any colostrum. There's certain things that we can do to give them supplemental antibodies, but nothing as good as mother's milk. Um, but right now they're nursing relatively well and by God's mercy, will continue to grow and, and thrive. Well, that's our update. We've got uh, mother doing extremely well, um, eating more than cheese at this point, I might add. And um, um, her last red cell count was double what it was before, so she's, um, I'm going to declare out of the woods and we'll keep fighting the war with these uh, four little boys and um, I will keep you updated. So that's all for today. It's me, Dr. B, signing off. If you've enjoyed today's video, please like it and share it with your friends. And subscribe so we can stay in touch. Have a great puppy day.